Hello, it's Leslie here. Today I'm going to review these Time XC6 pedals. Uh, before I was on these, I've used Time Alien pedals, which are a metal body pedal, and also DH4, which is also another bigger, broader aluminium pedal body. Uh, there's some things I like about these pedals and a couple other things not so much. So first off, they're fairly easy to clip into and clip out of. And so that's all fine. You know, they have enough ground clearance and things like that. The stack height, the, the height between the pedal and the cleat is a little bit more than some other pedal systems like Shimano. But anyway, I prefer the Time pedal system to the Shimano mainly because, well, two things, because of the the cleats are brass, uh, sorry, bronze, and depending on which way around you put them, you can either get 13 or 17 degrees of float. There are also easy cleats with only 10 degrees of float. Uh, that's to get the angle of the exit point of your, the angle that you have to twist your foot at to get the out, out of the pedals. You can, before I continue, I should also say, so the nice thing about those is they don't rust. It's, I think it's a slipperier material to start, start with. And the actual pedal bodies use nicer springs than on Shimano. And they generally, these don't rust. And the cleats don't rust, whereas on Shimano you only have to look at them the wrong way and they rust. And the Shimano ones also look a bit like bear traps, whereas these look a little bit friendlier. So there's that. So I spoke about the release angle. You, that's the release angle. You can also apparently change the spring tension on these. There's a little, there's a little bolt there on both sides. Uh, when I went to do that just now, because I felt that they were a little bit tight to enter, I have mangled one of the little screws because it's only made of plastic, so I seem to have mangled it already. So I'm not really that thrilled that that little adjustment is plastic, although I was probably using a screwdriver that was too wide anyway. Uh, so they're, they're okay. I don't really notice the difference between these and the aliens that I had before in terms of the function. Obviously, these are lighter pedals. Uh, they have a fiber injected nylon, I think it's nylon, body. So that's okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm happy enough with that. Uh, also, what was nice is they came with this black end here. Such was not the case when I ordered these MX6 pedals. Although they're pictured all black, they came with a red thing and I wasn't too happy about that. And I thought I'm going to get the same with these. And so that was nice to actually get what I, what, what's, what's picked, what was pictured on the time website. Also, uh, okay. I feel that Oh, I should probably address this to the end of the, at the end of the video, but I'll do it now. I think it would be nice if Time offered a couple of upgrades to this pedal, such as uh, like instead of having steel springs, maybe titanium springs would be nice to. And I mean the springs. I don't mean this part. I mean just the springs, for example, and also the the little spindle axle that the spring sits on. They are made of steel, what's look like, so they're, they're going to be pretty heavy. I think that's what they are anyway. I can check that. Now, I'm going to check it right now. Yeah, I think, I think they're steel because they get, react with a magnet there. So it would be nice if they offered, say, an upgrade for the springs, the little axle thing, the, 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 the spindle, it would be nice if you could get those separately. That way you could get the cheap entry level, well this isn't the entry level pedal, you could get the cheaper body, the one you want, 
and then the axle's at a later stage. Whereas you see, I that way you could choose what body you want, right? I don't I don't really like the top body that's red and black, the Titan one. It's not Titan one, it's Titan something or other, right? I don't like the the way it looks. So I'm not going to buy the I'm not going to spend two three hundred dollars on a pedal that I don't like the look of so it'd be nice if they that time as part of the SRAM group made it so that you could get parts separately as upgrades and then people could choose the part the, the body that they want I happen to like the look of these bodies it's got the French sort of colors on them that's nice but that brings me to my next point which is here's the box and it says here made in France down the bottom made in France and then you see on the side made in Portugal right so looks like they're not totally made in France I think what it is is uh, the bodies are made in France Somewhere I saw made in France on the actual body. I can't seem to find it now. But what I think they've done is they've outsourced the, the spindle part to Portugal. And it looks a bit... Look, the thing that I don't like about these pedals are the spindles, the axles. They don't seem to be that well made. First off, on one pedal... I don't know if this is the right pedal or the left pedal. Uh, that's how it looks there. Uh, and then on this one, it's got a little groove. You see that? One has a, has a, has a groove on it, and the other one doesn't have that groove. So you can tell straight away, if you can look at something by eye, I don't even need to get out the micrometer or my vernier calipers. To say, well, there's something different about that spindle compared to the other spindle. Also, again, sorry, I'll just try to focus that. So, also, I don't know if you can see it that well, but probably not. But again, the... The hexagonal 8mm things here, which I'm finding very hard to focus, they're not exactly in the middle of the of the of the pedal. It's not as bad as what I showed you in a previous video, these ones. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. The actual <laughs> The actual axle is not in the center on these and uh, these are different pedals but it's potluck what can you see that going around it's potluck you see how dodgy that is I c you could see that on the webcam and you don't even need a microscope so <laughs> they use the same axles that's that's my point the the axles the spindles are the same so it's potluck what axle quality you get you know I don't like the quality of the axles is one thing probably if you get the ones with the titanium axles spindles they'll probably be made in France or somewhere or Taiwan somewhere where they can actually make them well but I don't like the quality of those Portuguese spindles I think they're crap that's what I don't like I'll be upgrading the spindles on these I'm tempted to make my own spring and spring holder for them that's about all i have to say uh i'd probably i'd probably buy them again uh although i'm going to replace those axles just because i'm a bit of a perfectionist and i don't like it when i see something that's visibly off a millimeter out or something a millimeter off center it just worries me a little bit 
So I'm going to replace the axles and then I think I'll be happy, happy enough with them. And I'd buy them again. So long as I can get the different axles and I think Titanium Planet sells them. So long as I can get different axles and I'm not stuck with these horrible axles, uh, I'll be happy enough with them. So the other thing I should mention is um, I have tried other pedal systems like, for example, Crank Brothers, which are similar. They have a very similar looking cleat. The thing what I didn't like about Crank Brothers, if you're wondering, was they had, I put the, the very first time I tried a Crank Brothers pedal, they had the cleat and they had this little plastic shim. So I put the plastic shim on my cleat to get the clearance from everything so that the pedals would engage. And the first time I went to clip out, uh, the, the cleat twisted and I wasn't able to clip out and I fell over. And that's, that's with Crank Brothers. So I didn't like Crank Brothers after that. I thought they haven't tested them. Whereas with these time cleats, they have these little sort of pyramid structures on the back of the cleat they dig into your shoes you see and they don't twist around like the crank brothers ones do or did so i like that also as i said before i would like to see some upgrades like different springs different different uh where are we different the the the, the spindle holding the spring in. Already, uh, Silka has come out with a 3D printed titanium cleat for SPD, I believe. And that's crazy price. I'm not saying go and buy that, but they are taking business off of other companies. So I'd like to see, uh, not so much the cleats in a different material, but on the pedal, you know, because the, the cleats wear out. So I think it's silly paying 160 bucks for titanium cleats, but there's no reason why they couldn't have a couple of other parts on there a bit nicer and even upgrade to ceramic bearings, like a kit, you know, an upgrade kit would be nice. So a bit like RockShox does. So that's, re that's my review. Uh, my most popular reviews so far are lights and pedals. That's why I'm doing a lot of lights and pedals. Uh, I do have a lot of other ideas in future for other reviews in future. I will be, here's a couple of uh, reviews that I'll be doing in future. You know, I have a lot of plans. So that's really all I have time for today. I've just come back from my bike ride and everything, so um, I didn't have time to get changed properly. But that's it. So thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. I don't normally ask this, but please subscribe if you're if you'd like to see more videos. It encourages me to do more videos when I see can see the channel growing a bit. It would be nice to have a hundred subscribers. I mean, thirty is great. I I'm already pleased that I have 30 subscribers because it's a room full of people which is good but I won't be able to make any sort of money with that with only 30 30 subscribers so yeah thanks for watching anyway bye